Washington. Members of ferrite groups. Former police officers. Olympic gold medalist swimmer. And active duty U.S. Marines. They are among hundreds of people convicted in massive investigation into Jan. 6. 2021. Riot in three years since stunned nation watched U.S. Capitol attack unfold on live TV. Washington's federal courthouse is abuzz with trials. Criminal hearings and sentencing stemming from what has become the largest criminal investigation in American history. And the hunt for the suspect isn't over yet. We cannot replace votes and debate with violence and intimidation. Matthew Graves, the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia, told reporters Thursday. Authorities are still working to identify more than 80 people wanted for violence at Capitol and to find out who planted Pipe S outside offices of Republican and Democratic National Committees Day before Capitol attack, while some defendants were released after completing their sentences on January 6. They continue to make new arrests regularly. The cases are being heard at courthouse where Donald Trump is scheduled to go on trial march in case which he is accused of conspiring to overturn former president's 2020 election loss ahead of capital attack. Let's take a look at status of the cases filed against January 6 defendants by the numbers U.S. Attorney for District Columbia Matthew Graves speaks about unfolding of Jan. Six attack on Capitol during a presentation ahead this year's third anniversary Thursday, Jan. 4. 2024. In Washington, more than 1,230 people were charged with federal crimes during the riot, ranging from misdemeanors such as trespassing to crimes such as assaulting police officers and seditious conspiracy. About 730 people pleaded guilty to the charges according to an Associated Press database. While about 170 people were convicted of at least one charge at trial decided by a judge or jury, only two defendants were acquitted of all charges. And these were cases decided by a judge rather than a jury. Approximately 750 people were sentenced to prison, and almost two-thirds of them spent some time behind bars. Prison sentences ranged from a few days of intermittent imprisonment to 22 years in prison. The longest sentence was given former Proud Boys National Chairman Enrique Tarrio, who was convicted of the seditious conspiracy that prosecutors described as a plot to stop the transfer of power from Republican Trump Democrat Joe Biden. Many rioters, including some violent defendants, have already been released from prison after completing their sentences. Scott Fairlamb, New Jersey man who punched a police officer during riot and became first defendant convicted, assaulting law enforcement on Jan. 6. Was released from custody of Bureau prisons in June. All eyes on the Supreme Court defense attorneys and prosecutors are closely watching a case that will soon be heard in the U.S. Supreme Court and could affect hundreds of defendants on Jan. 6. The Justices Last Month AG.